Hello guys, it is me, Abomination115, and today I'm going to be giving you a update video on Call of Duty Ghosts. So, Call of Duty Ghosts has been updated. Um, there was an update today, title update, uh, to the 22nd of uh, November 2013. So, this is uh, a very big update. Um, this update has got quite a few things in it. So I'm going to leave the link in the description if you want to read it yourself. But this video is going to be about 10 minutes long because I'm going to have to cover every update in the game. So, some new features have been added and that is eSports option that has been added providing MLG support containing broadcast mode and the ability to enable the latest MLG rule set in both online private matches and system link. And um, one thing that I want to say before I actually get started, even though I've already got started, is that my uh, gameplay in the background is uh, just a bit random, just pulled off the internet, um, pulled it off my laptop, sorry. Um, so yeah, I think it's some solo extinction gameplay, I'm not sure. But anyway, so the new feature, they've added the MLG sort of COD eSport thing. Stability, fixed issues with, a cust with custom mode functionality if no save mode, save device was selected. Fixed a rare crash when quitting out of a multiplayer match while calling in a squad mate with a riot shield equipped. Fixed a rare private match stability issue which was occurring when a playlist update was published. Fixed a crash which occurred when renaming a, lo a loadout as the match was starting. Fixed a crash when the host of a war game match could crash if they are pulled out of the match while in a 5 player party. Fixed an MP siege. Uh, rare crash on load. Uh, numerous other MP in-game stability fixes. Fixed a rare crash on load. Further spawn logic improvements. Fixed a spawn exploit where players would respawn at their team spawn for uh, within the f first 15 seconds of a game, even if the enemy was nearby. So what that means by that is that uh, that you used to be able to. Uh, I think it was on the map, um, strike zone. Um, you used to be able to run straight into the enemy spawn, kill them all, then kill them all again, then kill them all again, and then they would, then the spawns would flip. So you could easily get a lot of kills that way. Um, increased XP awards for uh, operations uh, and early tier weapon challenges. Added leaderboard for search and destroy game mode. Numerous map exploit fixes in multiplayer and extinction numerous anti-cheat fixes so um i think that is modding um they've modded the uh no they've patched the modding tool so you can no longer mod the game uh which is annoying for some people who want to get the 10 prestige um but yeah nu numerous anti-cheat fixes fixed collision bugs on multiple maps care package stacking exploit fix increase search and destroy xp to give 10 times xp instead of five times xp fix trinity rocket issue which left player in laptop if enemy ground jammer was called in at the same moment no longer drop drop tags and search and rescue for suicide deaths search and destroy now as it now has its own online playlist uh, additional fixes Fix scoreboard navigation issue where you couldn't go forward if the next player is dead. Updates to entitlements now work. Fix 360 players friends list not updating when their friends online status changed. Improved character models rendering when viewing players with the griffin. Um, accuracy fix for the preferred weapon stat on the player stats lobby page. Um, that is actually complete bullshit because it says that my... Favourite weapon is the Bison, and I never used that gun, ever. I've never used it in the game, so yeah. I think my friend also has the MPP3 Garch pistol, and he's never used that either, so it's sort of um, awkward that that's there because it hasn't actually been fixed. Spectator movement improvements. Further support for the COD app, thank God, because that COD app fucking crashed every second. Clan tags no longer missing a bracket when viewed in-game. Fix for seeing empty player name when joining a game in progress. Reduced upwards velocity when performing a melee charge. ADS while moving in a remote turret is now allowed. Dog no longer twitches when player is too close. Ping for bots now returns a more accurate 0 milliseconds. 
fixed a very rare issue where the left pistol could shoot two bullets instead of one. Uh, vehicle explosion sometimes did not appear in kill cams, which is now fixed. Disabled the crate clam button when the service is unavailable. Added error pop up to the Call of Duty account button when the service is down. Added an error message on the clan section of the friends list when the service is down. When losing internet connection, the attempting the attempting to modify a loadout perks. Um, no, when losing internet connection, then attempting to modify a loadout perks, the game now returns you to the main menu. Balance the focus perks view kick scale. Uh, fixed bug where clan tag colours were not showing up on the clan details page. Fixed an issue where mantling while going for a blitz portal would sometimes not teleport the players. Adding patch and background reward for Call of Duty account registration. In Extinction, fixed a rare issue where the alien wouldn't retreat. Fixed an issue in Extinction when the Hive Chopper wouldn't show up if an attack chopper was brought during a very specific window of time. Multiple fixes for recent history and my modes list. Fix for something spawning from... Fix for sometimes spawning from last stand without a weapon in hand in Extinction. Fix for a few last stand revive weapon bugs in Extinction. Added new multiplayer spawn music. Fixed an issue where the ammo count is sometimes not showing up properly in safeguard. Fixed a rare issue where the score XP pop up, i.e. plus 100, didn't appear when killing players in squad mode. Changing the leaderboard filter when scrolling would sometimes cause the user to be sent to a previous menu screen. Fixed. Fixed issue where plus 2 MK32 launcher wouldn't gain ammo when picking up team explosives. We now show dog tags to, expect to spectators in search and rescue. Ensured the ratchet sound only plays when entering the summary after a game. Replace generic unlock item head helmet uniform with text description of item. Fixed a bug with shooting down a heli sniper with a griffin. Riot shield assist challenge balancing. Fixed operation completion bonus to account for multi-tier operations rolling over. Improved UI messages to explain rewards. Added the tracker track option, track operation button, text in operation select menu. Make it so the COD Anywhere confirm button does not disappear when you back out of a field edit pop up. Don't know what that means. Uh, fix for mismatched player cards in extinction mode. Added thermal hybrid scope hint in extinction hood. Fix an issue where backing out of a certain error pop-up would cause pl the players to sit in a lobby that wouldn't fill up in squad assault. Fix unlocalized text and extinction unlock screen for extinction abilities. Playlist updates, all platforms, hardcore team deathmatch respawn delay has been changed from 15 seconds to 5 seconds and core search and destroy has been added to the playlists. Um, so yep, there are all of the updates. For the new Call of Duty Ghosts. Um, the last two were actually an older update. But I read them out anyway. But there's all of them. How long did that take? It took like fucking, what, 8 minutes. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you missed any of them, then re-watch the video. Or click on the link in the description. Um, yeah, so if you like this, then subscribe. I'm going to be doing a lot of update videos now. And I'm going to be doing a lot of stuff. Um, hope you guys enjoy. Rate, comment, subscribe. All that good stuff. Uh, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.